her. So, class, we're going to do a video we haven't done in a long time here. We are going to reorganize my hat wall in the office here. We're back to office hours, back to this similar location. I've been doing filming in the basement, but I guess that's the new classroom now. And now I'm back into the old office here where I've done previous videos for years upon, well, really only two years, months upon months. Anyways, so if you've seen any of my old videos, you'll notice that I have a hat wall in the back here. That's my main hat wall where I put my top eight, really top six hats because these two spots are always reserved for the same two hats. And again, I quiz you all the time if you know what those two hats are that are always in the bottom right corner. Comment down below what they are and you'll receive a special prize at the end. By the time you're watching this video, it's probably already the start of the hockey season and NBA has been going on for a while now and college basketball is going on as well. So there's nothing, and college football has ended. NFL is ending, but I'll be putting up my main hockey and basketball hats up on the wall here. A few hats for the closet wall, closet door there, and talk to you about what I'm putting in the closet. So we're going to do a reorganization video. I haven't done this in a long time. But uh, we'll get down to it, and we'll have some fun here. So, get out a notebook, pen, pencil. Class is in touch. Let's go. So of course the bottom two spots here are reserved for the same hats as always, which is my Concordia, the bottom two hats, hat spots here are always reserved for the same two hats. I can't really think of why I would change it now, because it's become, become kind of tradition at this point. So on the bottom right corner here is my presidential hat, just my thing, my future job, nice dad hat, as well as a Concordia hat. Now I've had some Concordia hats in the past that have looked a little dingier, but this isn't my newer one, but the other spot is reserved for a Concordia hat. The top corner spot here is always reserved for the top Chicago team that's in season at that point. So right now, because of COVID, everything, of course, is being jumbled around with different start times for seasons. But as bad as it might be this year, I got the Blackhawks up here. A 15-50, two-tone, nice gray underbottom, very ideal color scheme. And that's going to go up there. As I'm recording, they already lost last night to the Lightning 5-1. to one, But at least we prevented the shutout. For my number two hat spot that goes up here, kind of my second favorite team, second favorite hat, it'll be the Vegas... Golden Knights. This hat I got from a Fitted Hat Society member from Facebook, I think last year over the summer, so huge shout out to them. And they're my second favorite team. There are, I will say, two times per season, or two situations per season, that I will not root for the Golden Knights. That I will want them to lose. And those two situations will not occur this upcoming season because of COVID happening because of travel restrictions and the season being delayed for it start. It just started last night on January 13th. 
usually the two situations, the two scenarios are either the game the day of November 1st or the closest game to November 1st when the Golden Knights play or whenever they play the Blackhawks. And whenever they play the Blackhawks, I want the Blackhawks to win at least by 10 in a shutout. But that hasn't happened yet. But it won't happen this year because restrictions with the different divisions. There's an all Canadian division, there's a Central, there's a Western division, there's a Eastern division. So everything is kind of a little weird this year. So the Golden Knights will not play the Blackhawks this year. But I, and of course, with the season starting on January 13th, they will not be playing on November 1st. But I have delegated two, if not three dates um, to fulfill the obligations of November 1st, which would be January 18th, which is probably after you're seeing this video. Um, when they play Arizona, then February 22nd, I believe when they play Colorado and then on March 29th when they play the Kings those will be the three dates that I want them to the Vegas Golden Knights to lose personal reasons it's about an X all right we're halfway there let's take a bit of a coffee break here but I don't know where I'm gonna put this next one I should have thought this one out um, but the next hat is a Utah Jazz hat. This one is New Era, 5950. Got a nice gray underbrim. Nice navy look to it. And this one, I'm going to... I'm going to put on the bottom for now. And the hat above it is... Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let's do this then. So, then the hat above it will be... Uh, it's going to interchange, actually. So, the next hat up, now that I was trying to figure out on camera which one I'm going to do, I'm going to put up my University of Illinois 47 brand cleanup dad hat, strap back, whatever you want to call it, awesome hat, up on this side here. Because Illini are top 15 right now. Well, barely top 15. They lost to Maryland a few nights ago. And they have they started the season out like top top 10 at least. Top 7 maybe. I think they started out 6 or 7 ranked. They got as high as 4. 4 or 5. And then they lost to Baylor. Then they lost to Missouri. And then they lost to Rutgers. And... Now, Maryland, so it's kind of going teetering back and forth. But I do like the, the Illini are finally back in contention for a winning record and for a Big Ten title, maybe, and to get back into the dance. I can't remember the last time I saw the Illini in March Madness. It's been years, if not since, like, 20... Next hat up is going to be doubles. Can I get a doubles? Doubles. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, bowls are getting popular now. They're getting better. And they're on a pretty good start now for the season. So I'll put them up on the, the hat wall here. Not always into basketball, but I do follow the Bulls here and there, spot on, spot off. Um, I don't follow them as much as, like, the Blackhawks, but for sure it's a Chicago team. I've been struggling, and I have been at least following along that Gar Pax, the front office duo, um, had not known how to run a organization for years, if not decades. So... It's good that they got rid of them and that we have new a new coach, we have new management. It's um it's looking good now. So they should be playoff bound, I think. Either this year or next year. So it's it's looking pretty good. And then the last hat to go up on the wall is a Ottawa Senators hat. 
I was between this and the 1550 pant, but figuring that this is a 7 3 8 and I'm like a 7 and 5 8 almost, um, this is more, this is more of a decorative hat. This one I can wear at least, it's a dad hat so I can always adjust it. So this is my new team, I'll admit I'm kind of jumping the bandwagon at the moment. Um, really there is no bandwagon because they're the worst team right now. It's between them, the Red Wings, and the San Jose Sharks that they're the worst team in the league. And yes, I know that you're knocking at that door too, but you still have good players at least. You still have Patrick Kane at least. And you'll eventually get back Kirby Doc. And you have Kubelik. Kubelik did pretty well in the uh, Calder voting last year. And you still have Keith. So it's, it's not all that bad. Bottom 10 for sure, but not bottom 3. Like the Senators are. Anyways. Ottawa Senators. Uh, I would like a red hat. I would also like to see if I could get a hat where it's the updated logo, it's not updated, the newly used logo, which I'll show on the screen, is, this is the new logo that they debuted this past summer, or that they're going to be using for the foreseeable future. And this is the logo that they used back in the 1990s through the early tw 2000s. I know. That, that big difference between the gold and the red and the wingtips makes a huge difference, makes it a whole new logo. So, whatever. So that's going to be going down there. Um, I would like to see if I could get it in a red hat, maybe, because the wall is kind of dark color. It's kind of bland. Except for the corner here. But otherwise, it's kind of a dark, dark colored wall here. And not a lot of life here. Not a lot of, uh, as the... Mug would say hat diversity, but there is hat diversity with the dad hats on here. On the closet door here, I have a hat hook rack up here, and I have two clear command hooks. I have three over here. There used to be four, but my brother put up some of his belts on one of the hooks, and in the middle of the night, uh, a few months ago, it, it broke off, so I have three up here. Um, but these are kind of like my secondary spots. Like, I still want to wear the hats, but maybe just not as much, or they just didn't make the wall rankings here. So these two hat spots will be for the Michigan State snapback from New Era. And I don't have a, um, the other hat will be the all black Chicago Blackhawks 50 hat here. For the hat hooks up here, these are mainly designated for my dad hats just because they fit better up here and it's easier to cluster them together than it would be for uh, structured hats with a crown, like a snapback or a 5950 fitted hat. So up here I'm going to put up, so the first hat I'll put up here is a Milwaukee Bucks Brian 47 dad hat. This one I got from Lids through a gift card that United by Caps uh, gave to me as a Christmas gift. Again, it was too much that you gave me, but I just appreciated that the video I made for you for your candidacy for the Ultimate Lids hat collection contest uh, last year. So this was one of the hats that I got from that gift. Uh, my brother lives in Milwaukee and Green is my favorite color, so it's the only Wisconsin school that him and I can agree on, at least. Brewers? Nah. Packers? F no. Next up will be a Reebok red Blackhawks hat. Then the next one will be a gray, a charcoal gray looking uh, Vegas Golden Knights hat. That one will go here. The other one, I think I'll kind of rotate between this orange uh, University of Illinois hat from the hat rack here and the hat wall just because it's this is technically the primary um, athletic logo for the school because they can't use Chief Alina book anymore because it's offensive so that's gonna be another video for another time this year 
Um, now go up here. Now I I don't know where it is. I want to say it's at work, but I have a Boston University dad hat from Fourth Ever Brand, and that will go up in the corner here or somewhere on the hat rack up here. So that'll go up there and. Five is enough hats where I can at least, you know, move at least maybe one hat around to get to the other if need be. So it's manageable this way. The hat rack can hold up to about eight hats, but I think five or six is a little bit more manageable. On the three hooks, you can't see over here. The hats I'll have up here will be a 47 brand all black Blackhawks hat. I'll go up there, a Charlotte Hornets hat from 47 brand. Uh, one of my friends, he is living in North Carolina for church work, so I figured I'd get a Charlotte Hornet hat to support him because he's living out there and gives me an excuse to get a new hat. And uh, no, put it down. Mm, no, put it up there. And the last one is the, what was it, uh, not the past year, but the year before the 3.0. Nike City Edition NBA hat for the Bulls. The four red stars on the front, Bulls on the side there, and this one, I'm sure I'll need to stretch out. So, now go over there. So, for the closet space, I put the rest of the in-season hats I'm going to use, and for right now, I'm just going to put up all the hockey hats that I have and just put them in the closet. I have 20 of the 31 NHL teams for fitted hats and one Atlanta Flames hat in the collection here somewhere. And I'm not going to get it out because it's going to fall apart. But I'm going to put them up here in the closet for easy access. And I did have them in my shoe cabinet, that shoe closet kind of thing. Well, it's designated meant to be a shoe cabinet organizer, but I use it for hats. A lot of other people have been using it for hats as well. And that will have to be reorganized because in the off season, that's where I'll put all my hats, just like I had put my off season hats in those plastic uh, shoe bins, but it's just easier with the shoe rack that I saw through Fit Hat Society. So, I probably will add a few of the NBA hats behind the hockey hats there, and a few other hats that I have. I know for uh, basketball, at Purdue is playing uh, Northwestern, the women's basketball team is ranked and they're doing pretty good, and there's still a few other hats I need to put up there in the back, but those will just be brought up slowly, but, but surely. I still have a few other Utah Jazz hats to put up as well in there. What's that, Billy? Oh, I forgot a hockey hat. What is it? Oh. Oh, yeah. This one. There's a special place for this one, Billy. Trash. Thank you for coming in for office hours today. Glad you took the time to drop by and say hi and see what the new office setup looks like. Comment down below which of these hats is your favorite on the wall here. Comment down below how you organize your hats if you use command hooks like this or whatever else you use. It's fun to hear what other people use for organization, storage, and display for their hats. So, until next time, Thank you very much. Hats off as always for you to, for watching. I'll see you next time in class. Class is dismissed. Bye everyone.